Welcome everyone back to weekly weather updates and in today's video we're going to have a look at the latest from the live radar run through the weather warnings we do have a rain warning issued for southern areas through the rest of this evening so we are still going to see some really quite heavy showers pepper the coast as we do have storm domingus which is well to our south giving some impacts towards our shores. We're going to have a look at the latest UKV, look at the precipitation and the temperature over the next five days. So it's going to be fairly up and down, generally unsettled, but there will be times, afternoons, mornings and even whole days in places where it is reasonably dry and reasonably sunny. However, as we head into the longer range, things are looking pretty unsettled with westerly winds looking to dominate the next week to ten days. Could be some quite oscillating temperatures as well, quite cold at times, but equally could be quite mild and muggy when we do see warmer sectors move in within areas of lower pressure. There is also a bit of a trend on the latest GFS, which does go out towards the middle of the month of high pressure trying to build in, potentially even starting to th turn things a little bit colder. And we'll have a look at that in detail as well in the second half of the video. So do remember, if you enjoy my videos, make sure you like and subscribe. And remember to follow me on Twitter as well, the link's in the description. Now, if you start on the live radar, you can see it is very unsettled in the south. And we are just about missing the most severe conditions, which across much of France into Spain and Portugal at the moment. Because this is Storm Domingos, which has been named by the Sp uh, Spanish Met Service. Um, not directly impacting the UK, but we're seeing sort of the edges of the weather front and some of the heavy showers on the northern edges of the system. Now, for the rest of this evening, we are going to see heavy showers continue to pepper southern and southeastern areas. Again, it could be some flooding issues, and that weather warning we'll have a look at in a minute uh, is in force until midnight tonight. Further north, we've still got some persistent rain, as we did see we've got a heavy weather front arrive earlier this morning for southern areas. And as it progressed north, it has lost its intensity and its size, but it's still sort of milling around further north, and that should as well start to clear. Now, if you look at the temperatures, as of around 5pm, it is a reasonably cold day in most areas. Temperatures struggling around the high single digits, maybe low teens at best, as we are on the cold side of the jet. Storm Domingus going this far southwards, because it is tracking with the jet stream, which is drifting southwards, allowing cold air to filter in for, uh, for many northern areas, but also further southwards. We can have a look at the latest wind speeds again. These are not the wind gusts, but the wind speeds. You can see for much of the UK, very light wind speeds at the moment. We're looking maybe at 10, 20 miles per hour uh, at most. But you see further south, we've got sustained winds across much of France, uh, western France here, northern Spain and Portugal with 30, 40 miles per hour gusting 60, 70 or 80 miles per hour. That's why the system has been named for its severe impacts further southwards. But for the UK... At the moment, it's just a few showers, luckily. Now, if you have a look at the latest weather warnings, you can see we've got this warning issued until midnight tonight. And again, heavy showers falling on saturated ground may cause some disruption and flooding. Now, if you do have a look at the further details, you see early heavy rain will be followed by fairly frequent heavy and blustery showers during the afternoon and evening. Particular focus is likely to develop this evening across some southern coastal areas within about 20 miles of the coast from the Isle of Wight through to Sussex and Kent. We're looking at 15 to 25 millimetres. There could even be some thunderstorms, making those totals get as high as maybe 30 to 45 millimetres. And I said, the saturated ground underneath that will make it the issues potentially more potent than they'd usually be. You can see it's relatively high impact, relatively low likelihood. So, Probably not going to cause too many issues, but the precautionary warning is there. And something else we're seeing in the warnings is, look at this, a blank slate for the next week. Something we haven't seen in quite a while with very few warnings. I wonder if that is going to last into tomorrow. So it'll be very interesting to see tomorrow if we even update the weather warnings. Because at this stage, we've got nothing enforced for tomorrow or for the rest of this upcoming working week. So do now go over to the UKV and have a look at the precipitation and the temperature over the next five days. You can see that heavier rain through this morning spreading in, but slowly petering away. And then the heavy showers peppering that south southern coast there is really taking off around 8, 9 p.m. this evening. Could be really quite heavy in places. So even though the live radar didn't look too bad, could come a bit more organised in the coming hours. So do be aware of that if you are going out this evening. Beyond that, as we head into tomorrow, as I said, it will actually turn a bit drier. Still a few showers around for Sunday, but it's one of those days where some areas will be quite sunny, quite dry. 
areas further westwards may see more showers but again it will be very regionally based and of course being convective based the showers it will be very uncertain exactly where uh, they will see them as we head into Monday, you see again more showers around, no persistent areas of rain, maybe a bit of heavier rain across western Scotland, but most areas again being peppered by showers again, all convective based, so it is going to be very hit and miss. As we head into Tuesday, again, more showers around, but more dry weather. If we look out to the west, to the west of Ireland, you can see thicker cloud approaching, and this is the next proper weather system. And you can see heavy rain approaching. Again, not looking ridiculous, but looking fairly widespread and persistent, moving through much of Wednesday into Wednesday afternoon, before clearing Wednesday evening and seeing more heavy rain coming to the south for early hours of Thursday, and more generally very unsettled weather for the northwest, as we do see quite a strong north westerly breeze start to develop there you can see the winds coming straight in off the north atlantic turning things cooler if we have a look at the upper air temperatures turning cooler but uh, more rainy as well now if you look at the max temperature you can see today really struggling in northern areas as i said it's a pretty cold day with cold air filtering in from the north mid single digits to high single digits at best the far south which is just below that sort of weather front that spread in maybe 11 or 12 degrees again dividing that cold air with the just generally chilly atlantic air into tomorrow all areas will be in fresh air but nothing ridiculous we're looking at 9 to 12 degrees for the top temperatures overnight temperatures again could be a bit frosty in northern scotland but we have to remember we are heading into the middle of november in the next couple of weeks so frost for scotland in many evenings is going to be quite likely uh, as we do descent towards winter as we head into monday again we're looking at temperatures again 10 12 degrees tuesday again 9 to 11 and then wednesday again maybe slightly higher as we do see that rainfall move in we're in a wedge of milder conditions as i said at the start of the video it is generally going to be chilly but we could see some muggier uh, and slightly milder days as we do see those wedges of relatively mild atlantic air if you do have a look at the latest GFS and see what that is producing, you can see Storm Domingos at the moment. It's very low pressure, still down towards 962 today. Not quite as low as the 953 we saw from Storm Kieran earlier this week, but nevertheless, extremely low pressure. And if we hadn't seen Storm Kieran this week, this would actually be some of the lowest pressure we've ever seen in November. So, yeah, really quite an uh, intense system, but luckily really none of the severe impacts are hitting the uk bar from that persistent rain earlier which wasn't too bad and some of the heavy showers around at the moment eventually it will fill in it does very quickly fill in over the next 24 hours and move away and you can see brief ridge of high pressure through monday and tuesday which stops those showers not completely but more than they have been recently and keeping us a little bit drier and more stable but as we head into the middle of the week, you see more and settled weather continues to move in. And it's kind of oscillating between brief ridges of high pressure and low pressure. Into the longer range, you can see, as I said at the start of the video, high pressure is trying to make some sort of influence. And it becomes a little bit more successful right into the extended range. Nothing amazing occurs. But what we can see is a bit of a Skazave in high battling up against the North Atlantic low pressure systems and trying to drift colder air in from Scandinavia, Russia, and generally Eastern Europe. You can see that it is relatively cold up there. Temperatures to minus five line, just about drifting in. Temperature deviation, maybe four to six degrees below average. But more importantly, when we're looking at continental air masses, it's the potential equivalent temperature, as of course, a minus five in off uh, the near continent is gonna be a colder, drier air mass than a minus five line coming in off the North Atlantic. And you can see here some really quite cold air is drifting in from the east very interesting signs as we head towards the middle of november now after you compare to the gm uh, it is only going out to day 10 so it's unlikely to get to that colder high pressure period but will it develop high pressure in the longer range or will it keep us very stormy and westerly and you can see storm dominguez moving away eventually brief ridge of high pressure and more than settled weather continuing off the west keeping us really quite horrible all the way to day 10 and there are signs that high pressure is building but it's holding out to our south and low pressure is uh, still to our north and it's very strong westerly flow here very mild air to our south very cold air just to our north and that line between them if we look at the 300 hpa uh winds here creating a very, very strong jet stream so 
actually keeping us incredibly unsettled with the jet stream right over our heads. But it'll be interesting to see if it did develop something similar to the GFS after that. If you compare to the ECMWF, uh, again, you can see Storm Tobingas drifting through today. Eventually, we do see low pressure returning off the Atlantic off for a brief hiatus. And towards day 10, we do interestingly see a little bit more high pressure again up towards Scandinavia. Nowhere near strong enough to develop the easterly flow that the GFS did, but big enough to stall the North Atlantic weather, uh, not North Atlantic, weather fronts, North Atlantic low pressure systems, and try to develop cold air to our northeast. You can see blues starting to pool here. So interesting seeing that. Again, nothing substantial. Again, we are, you know, with this sort of run, we are clutching more at straws than actually seeing anything significantly. But following on from that GFS, it is interesting seeing both runs develop some heights to our northeast, potentially bringing the risk of more easterly winds or easterly flows or just generally drier, colder weather as we head into November. Again, it could go two ways. Uh, it could go, if we did develop that, it could go to more of a colder easterly with maybe some wintry showers, or it could just generally be some more settled weather with high pressure building in, a little bit of an easterly flow, and we start to see the first widespread hard frosts of the year, or of the season really. So we'll have to see, but interesting seeing that into the longer range, hopefully breaking up the very unsettled patterns we've had at the moment. Now, to finish, have a look at the latest ensembles, the latest GFS ensembles. Unfortunately, it only goes out to day 11 here at this stage, but you can generally see the very up and down pattern with lots of precipitation and cold air at times, but equally some very mild air. And you can see the operation while it's actually ridiculously mild there for a couple of days, but as we saw, it goes very cold at the end. So, operation one a bit all over the place. The two meter temperatures are generally looking low teens at best maybe 15 degrees on mild sectors but of course that's accompanied by more cloud and more drizzle and more rain colder days more like nine or ten degrees sea level pressure definitely rising in the long term you can see it's very low at the moment but rising more towards sort of uh, 1010 1020 so potentially turning a bit drier or signals that it's turning potentially a bit drier but i really wouldn't be looking at this in too much detail at this stage as things can still alter but again tentative signs things could be looking a bit better the dew points also going to be fluctuating up and down but nothing majorly cold or nothing majorly mild at this stage again going along with the upper air temperatures and if we do compare to the ecmwf ensembles again you can see generally average but oscillating up and down some colder runs some milder runs but plenty of precipitation around and if we have a look at the sea level pressure definite trend for some higher pressure in the longer term but really nothing too crazy at this stage so yes some of the operation runs like the gfs definitely trying to build in a certain scenario in the longer range of the east of the we have some hinting at it but at this stage if we look at the ensembles look at the full spread of all the scenarios that are possible or even likely it is still very much up in the air so we do need to keep a very close eye on what's going to be happening of course as we do descend towards meteorological winter starting in only about three and a half to four weeks time for the time being though it is going to stay fairly unsettled nowhere near as horrible and stormy as it has been recently things are going to look a little bit better and there will be days where actually will be pretty pleasant outside with some sunshine and temperatures around the low teens but it is going to be very up and down and things could take a big change in the longer term but we will have to see so anyway thanks for watching hope you have enjoyed subscribe if you're new and i'll see you again for another video soon